We should have a base on the moon, like a the permanently occupied human base on the moon, and send people to Mars. You know, and a simple city on Mars. That's what we should do. If you think Elon Musk, the force behind SpaceX, is only obsessed with exporting humanity to Mars, think again. As this time around, he seems to have his eye on the moon. When no one expected, Elon revealed a shocking secret about the moon that few people know. What does Elon Musk know that we don't? How would it change everything? Keep watching as we uncover the truth. The moon is not a frequently visited place by man, even though astronomers make it clear, reaching it takes only a few days. Surprisingly, only three nations have dared to invade lunar territory, including the United States of America, Russia, and China. Because this region is hardly touched, there are numerous dark secrets yet to be found, which are still lurking within its dark shadows. The last time explorations were made on the moon was in 1979, with the American spacecraft Apollo 11 advancing boldly. After that, it would take another 39 years to revisit the region. Amidst these great gaps of exploration, many questions remain unanswered. But recently, Elon Musk seems to have broken the ice again, revealing shocking and hidden facts about the moon that would leave even scientists scratching their heads. But how did it happen? Let's say it started with a desire for knowledge. Truthfully, man has always yearned for an in-depth knowledge of space and the universe in which he finds himself. Perhaps driven by this single yearning alongside the incredible ambitions of people like Elon Musk, with nations competing to conquer territories outside Earth, space exploration remains one sector heavily invested in by private individuals and nations, with exploration plans lined up in the blueprint of the future. In the end, this communal desire led to a collaboration between Elon Musk's SpaceX and China's NASA. Of course, China's recent explorations of space alongside its numerous discoveries have recorded amazing results, but more seems to be on the way. And with Elon Musk in the picture, things were to get more interesting. On November 23, 2020, China's fifth Luna Lunar Exploration spacecraft, Chang'e 5, was launched from the Wenchang spacecraft launch site, after which it landed on the moon on December 1, 2020. The mission lasted 23 days, worthy of applause, wherein so many accomplishments were made. One of your accomplishments included and in deploying China's first flag on the moon, but this was not all. China had also made a shocking discovery on the moon, which would eventually deconstruct old scientific beliefs about the moon. This discovery was so profound that it got Elon Musk interested in it. Like that was enough, Elon also saw the need for the whole world to be enlightened about the recent discovery, so he publicly stated it. The result was wild, and there was a need for some sort of explanation. Finally, China decided to speak until the National Space Administration and China's Atomic Energy Authority soon announced to explain Elon Musk's statement. They had indeed found something. But what was it? A huge discovery that may revolutionize power. Who would have thought the moon would have what it takes to play a vital role in providing one of Earth's greatest needs? We are talking about clean energy. According to the National Space Administration and the China Atomic Energy Authority, the Chang'e 5 robotic mission to the moon yielded groundbreaking results, and Elon Musk could not have agreed more. After a successful trip to the moon, the Chang'e 5 spacecraft returned with a sweet result of about 1731 grams of lunar surface samples, which landed on the Beijing Research Institute of Uranium Geology Table. Following this, these lunar samples were immediately put through analysis by advanced mineralogical methods. You will be shocked at what was discovered. While examining the lunar surface particles, scientists made a spectacular discovery. Scattered among the particles were traces of helium-3. This is one of the rarest variants of helium that you would ever find. According to Musk, helium exists on Earth but is uncommon and hard to find. On the Moon, however, he said that the helium variant is abundant, deposited on the lunar soil over billions of years by the solar wind. Rich access to helium-3, according to experts, can be a game-changer in our pursuit of clean energy, as it could be the fuel source required for nuclear fusion. Scientists have discovered a new way to generate unlimited clean energy, which is all within nuclear fusion's power. 
This is a scientific method used to generate energy, wherein particles combine and form a single particle. It does happen automatically, but in the presence of others. You see, this is exactly the way the sun generates the energy that we utilize all over the world today. Scientists have been attempting to replicate the system and use it to generate clean energy and power required to run human activities without harming the Earth. But this has proven to be very difficult. Scientists have not been able to develop a fusion reactor that can produce as much energy as is required. A good example is China's attempts to create its artificial sun, officially recognized as the Experimental Advanced Superconducting Tokamak, East. This is a tokamak fusion reactor located in Hefei, China. It is donut-shaped, with a major radius of about 6 meters, a minor radius of about 2 meters, and an outstanding feature of a plasma confined by a strong magnetic field. Indeed, the East mimics the processes that go on within the sun, and stands out as one of China's most important projects of the century. Since its creation, it has produced some results, and in December 2021, it achieved a plasma temperature of 126 million degrees Fahrenheit, five times hotter than the sun's core. Indeed, this is a significant milestone in the development of fusion energy. However, if this method is to be utilized to generate the clean and unlimited energy we need, we would say that China still has a long way to go. East is said to be still under development, with the hope that it will eventually be able to produce more energy than it consumes. When this is achieved, fusion energy could provide a safe and sustainable source of energy for the future. But what if there's a shortcut to that future staring us right in the face at the moment? Scientists believe that the discovery of the abundance of helium-3 on the moon might just be the solution we need to tackle the problem of generating clean energy once and for all. The revelation of this discovery to the public would, of course, cause a lot of future lunar exploration ventures, and that might be exactly what Elon Musk envisioned when he made a public revelation of this discovery. As it stands, many private place-related companies and space-exploring nations are already declaring their intentions to maximize the resources of Helium-3 on the Moon, making the competition towards lunar exploration tighter. Now who wouldn't want a world wherein we can operate with the availability of a clean and unlimited energy supply? While the discovery of helium during the lunar exploration of the Chang'e 5 robotic mission is enough to make us happy, it is not the only remarkable discovery made during the mission to the moon. So let us consider the next, the world's sixth lunar mineral to be discovered. Indeed, it seems to have been a very good choice made by China to embark on the Chang'e 5 lunar exploration mission, as it has led to the discovery of the world's sixth new lunar material, which is the first of its kind for many decades now. Before now, five minerals have already been found by the United States of America and Russia. It is referred to as Change Site Y, and was discovered by scientists at the Beijing Research Institute of Uranium Geology, while they further explored and examined the lunar surface samples that had been collected on the Chang'e 5 robotic mission to the moon. The crystalline particle was tediously found out of these samples, having isolated about 140,000 particles. It was found to weigh about 10 micrometers in diameter. Despite this minute size, knowing how valuable this mineral is will shock you. First of all, this discovery was priceless for China, as it was the first ever discovered lunar mineral under its records. But that was not all. According to the International Mineralogical Association, there was more to this crystal mineral. Surprisingly, the little crystal had one of the rarest compositions that no one had seen before or expected to see. This was in line with Elon's beliefs that the moon holds more secrets than we think, and some of these secrets are finally being uncovered, piece by piece. Having been certified by the International Mineralogical Association and commissioned on new minerals at nomenclature and classification, the first set of Chang'e 5 lunar materials was then distributed by the National Space Administration to researchers of nearly 100 different domestic research groups. These researchers were said to be currently working on over 31 scientific projects that were moon-focused. With this discovery, Numerous collaborations with experts from diverse departments came together to study this lunar material. From this, further discoveries were made as the mineral was said to be over one billion years old. It was the width of a strand of human hair, 
and was greatly connected to every other mineral on the moon or within meteorites. For scientists trying to understand more about the moon and its origin, these are groundbreaking discoveries. But we are not done here. What was discovered next during the Chang'e 5 lunar robotic mission? Water has been found on the moon. It is now beyond doubt that the trip of China's Chang'e 5 robotic mission to the moon has provided immense benefits to the whole world regarding the discovery of new things. The next thing that was discovered on this mission will shock you. In December 2020, China's Chang'e 5 robotic mission to the moon made the first on-site and real-time discovery of water on the moon. But how was it found? It turns out that before the spacecraft lander returned to Earth, it did not fail to utilize its mineralogical spectrometer, which was specifically designed to detect water. It did so by determining spectral reflectance measurements of soil and rocks on the moon. By carrying out its action, it would be easy to tell if there is water in the area. This is because of the unique way water molecules reflect or absorb the sun's radiation. Through this action, the lander could detect water on the moon. Also, in tiny glass beads collected from the lunar surface, a group of researchers, led by Hui Kun He of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, had estimated between 300 billion and nearly 300 trillion kilograms of water to be held. According to scientists, this is a relatively high water concentration for the moon, suggesting there may be more water on the moon than previously thought. This is indeed a groundbreaking discovery because for a long time, it was normal to believe there was no water on the moon, as usual for most space bodies. This has long been a challenge to astronomers and space explorers who would have to plan extensively before embarking on a new journey outside the planet. As you know, man cannot survive more than 10 days without water, which poses many challenges to navigating through space that is in great need. During the mission, the water was found in the youngest terrain on the moon, near a region called Oceanus Procellarum. But how did the water get there? To some scientists, the water may have been delivered to the moon by comets or asteroids that crashed into the surface in recent geological history. The discovery of water on the moon is significant for several reasons. The first significance is that it provides evidence that there may be more water on the moon than previously thought. Further pushing forward this thought, experts like Michio Kaku believe that there might be more water than we think spread across the shadowed neighbor of Earth. No one will disagree that this discovery could be important for future human exploration of the moon, as water could be used for drinking, growing food, and producing rocket fuel. In line with this, the water discovered on the moon had to be investigated if it was real, as well as to ascertain if astronauts could use this water in a situation where astronauts have to stay on the moon for extended periods. The investigation led a team from the Institution of Geology and Geophysics at the Chinese Academy of Science to examine all the data that had been collected. Their examination had further confirmed the fact that there was indeed water on the moon, prompting Dr. Meg Ziegler, a senior scientist at the Planetary Science Institute in Tucson, Arizona, to further speculate the likelihood of the existence of more water on the moon than we are aware of. The discovery of water in the youngest terrain on the moon also suggests that the water may be relatively new. This could affect our understanding of the moon's history and evolution. In the end, who knows what comes out of this, as the discovery of water on the moon is a major scientific achievement. It is the first time that water has been found on the moon in real time, and it is a significant step forward in our understanding of our nearest neighbor. But there is more. In addition to the discovery of water in the lunar regolith, the Chang'e 5 mission also found evidence of water ice in the permanently shadowed craters at the moon's poles. This water ice is thought to have been delivered to the moon by comets or asteroids, and it is a potential resource for future human exploration of the moon. Again, with the discovery of the presence of water on the moon, the previous debates about the issue of water's existence on the moon will likely be laid to rest. Before now, the Indian Space Research Organization had detected signs of water on the lunar surface of the moon. But there was a major confusion with their discovery at that time, because scientists could not ascertain whether it was the presence of H20 or hydroxyl. But the recent discovery now explains it all. 
causing scientists to return to what may have been a hint of moon water in glass bead samples collected during an Apollo mission about 40 years ago. A re-examination of the beads this time around shockingly displayed water molecules. Despite all this, not all scientists agree with the facts that there is water on the moon, as some alluded to it to be a mere result of moisture contamination in Houston, Texas. But more evidence seems to have already preceded this argument as NASA, a week earlier, had announced their discovery of the existence of water in the areas of the moon that are sunlit. This discovery was confirmed by the Sophia spacecraft, which though did not land on the moon, but stood at an altitude of 45,000 feet, where it made use of its advanced infrared technology, with which it was able to observe wavelength signals known to be emitted by water molecules, indicating the existence of water in other regions of the moon that have not yet been discovered. While for the regular scientist, the discovery of water on the moon is a major scientific achievement, having the potential to revolutionize our understanding of the moon and its potential for human exploration, the discovery means so much more for Elon Musk. For Elon Musk, this might just be another sign of the possibility for humanity to inhabit the moon. If you know Elon Musk, this statement might not come as a shock to you. Elon Musk has long been a vocal proponent of space exploration, as he boldly says that he believes it is essential for humanity to become a multi-planetary species. He has cited several reasons, including the possibility of an extinction event on Earth, the need to find new resources, and the potential for discovery. Whether you agree with this or not, Elon Musk seems to be committed to this course as his company, SpaceX, is developing several technologies that could allow humans to live on other planets. These include the Starship rocket, designed to carry large payloads to Mars, and the Dragon spacecraft, which is designed to transport people to and from the International Space Station. To the amazement of all, Elon Musk believes it is possible to send the first humans to Mars by the 2030s and that a self-sustaining colony could be established on the planet by the 2050s. He has also said he wants to eventually send a million people to Mars. Now that's one big dream right there, but with more space exploration like that of Chang'e 5 and more discoveries being made, there might indeed be a future wherein man would cross-dwell on planets other than Earth. But what other accomplishments has the Chang'e 5 made? Aside from the mind-blowing discoveries made by the Chang'e 5, the space robotic mission has also been useful in debunking old tales, beliefs, and speculations about the moon. One such tale is that of a mystery hot on the moon. The hut was discovered in November 2021, and with its square shape and something that looks like a flat roof over it, the object was concluded to be a hut. Later in this expedition, the Chang'e 5 takes the bold step to clear out the misconception. It sends down its rover, U-22, which ventured closer to the mystery hut. However, the rover soon discovered on a closer look that the mystery hut on the moon was just a rock on a crater rim. The rover's cameras had captured images of the object from a distance, which made it appear to be a small hut-like structure. However, as the rover got closer, it became clear that the object was just a natural rock formation. The rock's shape resembles that of a rabbit, which led to its name, the Jade Rabbit. When the discovery was made in December 2021, the captured images of the object quickly went viral online. Many people were convinced that the object was a sign of alien life, but this was eventually clarified. Clearly things are getting more exciting by the day with the numerous findings of space explorers. But all hands are still on deck, and Elon Musk is doing a lot to ensure more events like this occur. China has also announced its plans to launch the Chang'e 6 in 2024 to continue the race in lunar exploration, unraveling even more shocking secrets about the moon. The location in focus for this mission would be the South Pole Aitken Basin on the far side of the moon. It intends to deploy an orbiter, lunar ascent vehicle, and lander alongside a re-entry capsule for this mission. The nation also intends to establish a lunar presence by creating a moon base by 2025. This goes hand in hand with its intention to launch nuclear-powered rockets into space. According to them, this will go a long way to allow for the easy exploration of the final frontier. NASA is also not sitting idle as it has announced its plans to return to the moon by 2025. 
Preparations that high as Elon Musk is doing everything he can to ensure this lunar exploration is a reality. Indeed, the chase is on, and all space explorers know this. Subscribe to Beyond Discovery and see you in the next episode.